Once upon a time, I had this memorized, but I was in high school, and that was a year or 20 ago. Uh, so, but uh, I, I thought I would do um, Kate's monologue from the end of the Taming of the Shrew. <clears throat> bye, bye. Unknit that threatening, unkind brow, and dart not scornful glance from those eyes to wound thy lord, thy king, thy governor. It blots thy beauty as frost do bite the meds, confounds thy fame as words as whirlwinds shake fair thoughts, and in no sense is meet or amiable. A woman moved is, is like a fountain troubled, muddy, ill-seeming, thick, bereft of beauty. And while it is so, none so dry or thirsty would deign to sit or touch one drop of it. Thy husband is thy lord, thy life, thy keeper, thy head, thy sovereign, one that cares for thee. And for thy maintenance commits his body to painful labor, both by sea and land, to what? To spend the night in storms, the day in cold, whilst thou liest warm at home, secure and safe, and craves no other tribute at thy hand but love, fair looks, and true obedience. Too little payment for so great a debt. Such duty as the subject owes the prince. Even such a woman oweth to her husband. And when she is froward, sullen, sour, peevish, and not obedient to his honest will, what is she but a foul contending rebel and graceless traitor to her loving lord? I am ashamed that women are so simple to offer war where they should kneel for peace, or seek for rule, supremacy, and sway, where they are bound to love, serve, and obey. Why are our bodies soft and weak and smooth, unapt to toil or trouble in this world, but that our soft conditions and our hearts should well agree with our external parts? Come now, you, you forward and unable worms, my mind hath been as big as one of yours, my heart is great, my reason aptly more, to bandy word for word and frown for frown. Now I see that our lances are but straws, our strength as weak, our weakness past compare, that seeming to be most, which we indeed least are. Then veil their stomachs, for it is no boot, and place thy hands below thy husband's foot, in token of which duty if he please, my hand is ready, may it do him ease. <laughs>